Hi and welcome to this Dreamweaver tutorial. What we're going to start doing now is creating a div tag uh, website. So it's going to add some structure and some boxes so that we can move all of our text and images into some sort of resemblance of a website now. So the first thing we're going to look at is creating what's called a container div or a wrapper div. So what that means is we're going to create a box that all the website's going to sit inside to start with. Then we're going to look at centering it. So to get started, what we're going to do is I'm going to put a few returns in. It's really hard to get your cursor in front of that. Put a few returns in above this stuff and we're going to put the structure above it and then we'll drag everything into it. So to get started, we're going to insert a div. Okay, so go up to the top, go to insert and go to div. Now we're going to use IDs to style this container. So we're going to have an ID of container and we're going to click OK. So it's put a container right in the top of my page. Um, and so you can see it in my source code here. I'm going to put a few returns in there to make that look nicer. So you can see I've got a container. It opens and then it closes there. And inside of it, the only thing inside of it is this bit of text here, just placeholder text. And what we'll do is the whole website will end up inside this container div. Now we need to style it. So I've gone back to design view and I'm going to style this div using CSS. To do it, Okay, I'm going to click under main.css. Okay, so I'm going to style it in here and I'm going to create a selector, a little plus, and this one's going to be hash container. You can see it needs to be spelled exactly the same way you named it earlier. Okay, click enter twice. Now I'm going to give it a width. Okay, now in terms of widths, it's up to you really to style, decide how wide your website is. It's really common to have a pixel width of one, uh, sorry, of 1024, so 1024. You can go a little bigger. You don't need to go really a lot of smaller um, for a desktop website. Um, but Google around just to see this tutorial might be getting a little old, so just check what the kind of standardized width is these, these days. So the width's done. Let's add a background color for it, just so that we can see it up in here. So I'm going to pick a background color of gray. And you can see in my design view, I've got a div tag that has a width of 124 pixels and kind of stops there. That's a kind of a default website size. Now we don't add a height to containers because we let the content inside the container stretch out the height and that will do that by itself. So don't need a height on it. What we do want to do is center it because if I preview this in a browser, so go to file, Preview in a browser, actually, let's go to file and go to save all first. Then go to file, preview in a browser. We're going to do Google Chrome. You can see it's stuck on the left hand side there and it's really common to have a centered website these days. So back into Dreamweaver. Um, I'm going to find in main.css, I'm going to scroll down until I find container. Click on that. So there's kind of two parts to this. We need to make the margins auto and the site relative. What that means is if I scroll down, this is my margin now. Okay, if I make the margins auto by clicking pixel, click auto, both the left and the right, that'll help this website be centered. The last thing I need to do is scroll down just a little further and the position should be relative. Right, so if I zoom out, you'll see it's centered within Dreamweaver. Let's test in the browser. Let's go to file Preview in a browser, it's going to ask me to save. I'll say yes, please save. And you'll see my site now, container is centered. And if I resize Google Chrome, you see it comes along for the ride. Great, let's jump back into Dreamweaver. Okay, that'll be it for this tutorial. What we'll do next is we'll look at adding the, the boxes for our headings and navigation and our text and images and those types of things in the next tutorial. All right, see you then.